So Willow and I are going to try to make a, uh, a video about phone gap using Gitpod. So this is my Roxetta site. I've got the Gitpod thing there. Um, down here, I've got a bunch of phone, phone gap Cordova. Now, what phone gap and Cordova are? Are there ways of taking a JavaScript web page and making it into an Android or iOS app? I don't do the iOS because there's a hundred dollar a year fee, but the Android's a twenty-five dollar one time. Uh, I'm not showing the full process. I'm just proving that the darn thing can work. So, uh, in a new window, open that up, uh, crunch that down. I'm going to open both of them just because they're slightly different. I think this one's the better one to use. Um, I'll, I'll try to make a, an even better one. But So, where are we at? We've got, oh, by the way, Willow's helping out because I'm going to use my cell phone eventually. And hopefully this will all work. Oh, Willow, don't go away. Sit down. Sit down. Willow's just a puppy. So these two um, Git pods are up and running. Uh, as I said, I think this is the better one, the darker one. So what do we got to do? Here it goes. It's, that one's going. Let's see if the other one goes. Uh, notice the little browser window isn't up and running just yet. So what we've got here is Android SDK installed. We've got Cordova installed. It's all pre-installed. Gitpod's amazing. Um, it really beats out other, other systems. So let's go. I'm going to type AO1 dash. That's the create call. Let's uh, give it a name. This should be the name of the app. I'm just going to give it uh, three letters and O oh, and N for no, I don't want to do telemetry, I don't even know what it is. So let's see, what it should be doing is it's taking this web page right here, no it's not, it's creating this RRR and in the WW folder it has an index.html. That's what it's making into a web page. Uh, the other thing I have, I'm just going to stay in this one for now. I've done a couple of videos on this. Oh, that actually looks fine. Oh no, it's still creating it. So Gradle is now packaging everything. It's doing a massive amount. If it, if it even barely basically works, it's just amazing what, what it's producing at the moment. But it looks like it's kind of done. I'm gonna refresh this page. Uh, by the way, if for some reason that didn't work, you can open up the ports page and open preview and expose ports. Uh, let's just refresh this and see what we got. Yay! We've got a Cordova app. This is just a URL, a QR code to get to this page. I could open up the browser up there, uh, full page. It's kind of nice for Control Shift I, uh, viewing some uh, issues if there are any. But we can just stay here. Now, so I just made a, a new uh, folder instead of RRR, I just made mine and go into the WW folder, into the index.html. This uh, really cool app by Jeremy Ellis, I just replaced that. Um, save, then come down here, AO2, rebuild it, watch the screen, see if it, oh, I got to type in mine, and watch the screen, see if it looks reasonably successful. Okay, refresh this, and there's the mine APK. Um, now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to stop this share and move over to my cell phone. I'm going to go into my QR code, and it's reasonably quick. Find, and that's just finding the web page. Um, then I'm going to click on that, open it up, and there's a couple of steps here. Uh, open and install. First couple of times I messed up by clicking OK there. No, I want to install it. Um, sometimes you have to set up your app and open it up. And there we go. This really cool app by Jeremy Ellis. Device is ready. That's on my Android cell phone. JavaScript web page. There's the basic web page. And yeah, pretty amazing. To be